Google Meet is a great video platform for hosting meetings, and you have access to it through Google Classroom, which is the likely location where you're going to launch most of your meetings from. So we're going to take a look at it from there and just explore some of the controls that you have for hosting these meetings. So from Google Classroom, I have a box right here, just next to the stream, where I can launch my Google Meetings. And the students all have that button sitting there as well. So it's a really quick, easy way for them to get into the meeting with you. Now, the nice thing is because they are members of your class, they're automatically invited to join these meetings as far as the, the meeting's concerned. So what that means is that when I come over here and I look at my host controls, I'm going to have the option to manage things a little bit. I can do things like allow people to share their screens or send chat messages. I can even make it so they can't turn their mics on. Um, but below that, when I keep coming down, I can control whether people can turn their video on and off. And then finally, this is the one that I want to get to, is quick access. Quick access is something we've got turned off by default what it would do is allow people to quickly access your meeting. So if they're not invited, if you've just taken this meet link and say emailed it to parents or something, uh, or anybody else really not part of TLDSB, then they'd be able to just jump into that meeting if quick access was turned on. But with this turned off, you have a bit more control. So I can turn it on if I needed to, and then I can turn it off again. Um, when when necessary, but basically it's going to prevent anybody from joining this meeting if I don't want them to. I can also go and say view all host settings and that's going to give me a bit more information really about each of these same toggles. Um, so again, talks about sharing screens, chat messages, video, and then down here it gets a little more descriptive. It lets me know that when quick access is turned off, as it is right now by default, the host must join first, so my students are not going to be able to join this meeting without me, and neither can anybody else. So they can't jump back into a meeting after I've left it. Uh, only people invited by the host can join without asking, so again, those students who are already invited. Um, asking means that if somebody tries to get in, a pop-up is going to be there. You must admit them, which, of course, you can just deny if it's somebody not part of your class. Uh, everyone else must ask to join, including the people who dial in. So we don't really want anybody dialing in. You might be dialing out for parents for uh, parent-teacher interviews and things. Dialing in will mean that that person who is phoning your Google Meet will more than likely be getting a big long distance charge. So do not encourage anybody to dial into your meetings. Uh, and it says only hosts can dial out of a meeting, which is exactly what we want. We don't want participants like students and things to start dialing out and bringing in other outside people. Um, so that's why this is being turned off by default. And that's a good thing. Again, you can turn it on, you know, when you need it, if you possibly needed it. Um, but one nice thing here is that when I am in a call and I've got anybody else in the meeting with me, so I'm just going to join here twice to make sure that this pops up nicely for me. There we go. Just jump right back in. So with that in there, it means that if I'm finished this call now and I'm done, I don't want to leave my students lingering in the room to chat amongst themselves. I can hit that little leave call button here and it's going to say, all right, you can turn this off if I want to, which I've got it left turned off and that's perfect. It means it will stay off the next time I come in. Uh, but I don't want to just leave the call. That would, again, leave the students the option to stick around in this and, and chat amongst themselves. I instead want to make sure I end the call. That's going to help close down that meeting, shut off that address, and now it's not available to anybody else after the fact. The next time it is launched from Google Classroom, it'll be a fresh meet link. The old one is gone, and now I know that everything's safe and controlled, and I'm not allowing people into my meeting that I really don't want to have as part of my Google Meet. So there's quick access and why it is turned off by default.